everyone, welcome to another video. It is me, Desiree. I am so excited about this video because I found some new makeup over at the old Walgreens. It's all in this paper bag here. And I'm just gonna show you what I bought. I did a video back in December. I, well, I filmed it, I never put it up. It was just a video about uh, new makeup that I was really, really excited about, mostly drugstore stuff. Uh, and I just never put it up for some reason, but I found some of that stuff that I was so excited about and some stuff that I didn't even know existed, didn't even know was coming out. Um, I just saw it at the store and I was like, I'm gonna die if I don't buy that. So I, I pretty much just wanna show you everything I bought and um, I'll try it out of course throughout this month and um, probably do videos on it in February, but let's just jump into the bag. I'm gonna try not to make a ton of noise with that bag, but there's something just so, I don't know, what is it about a paper bag? I don't know, man. Okay, I bought these. These are from the Walgreens brand, the Velour Powder Puffs. I should have used one today. I, well, I actually didn't even put powder on today. Um, they look kind of big. I don't know, but Emily Noel uses a little pink triangle puff to put on powder with sometimes. And it just looks so cool. Every time I see her use it, I just want to like reach in and grab it and use it on myself. So I saw these. Um, let's open them up and just see what they feel like. It was a four pack. Darn these nails. Darn this stuff. Ooh, you know, in the package for some reason, I thought one side was gonna be hard plastic and only uh, the other side was gonna have the velour, but the whole thing is so soft. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is gonna be so nice to put on powder. I'm really excited to use this. I got makeup on it, let's just rub it off. Um, I'm really excited about these. These are gonna be cool. Okay, next thing. Ooh, you know what? I think I'm just gonna reach in the bag like that and see what I pull out. They had some new mascaras from the Sky High line and I'm sure you guys know, of course they're not in the drawer handy. So they had some new mascaras from the Sky High line. They had three colors. I bought all three, they're all in the bag. Let me just get them out. Okay, they have a pink one called Pink Air. They also have a blue one called Blue mist. And then the purple one called Burgundy Haze. Yes, Burgundy Haze. Uh, I had to get these because for one, I already know I like the mascara and I'm hoping they're gonna be full color. I mean, they kind of look like they are. Like look how blue that girl's lashes look there. And then the pink one, they look pink. Burgundy, I think would be the most subtle of the three, but still very cool. And I already like the mascara. I already am I'm sure it's gonna be good but I'm hoping that they're full color mascaras because I would love that. I would love to wear some colorful mascara again. I got really into colorful liner not too long ago, so I'm really excited about these. Very, very, very excited. I should have put one on today. Maybe I'll do a video tomorrow, maybe trying some of the stuff out. We shall see. All right, next little surprise here. Ooh, acting like I don't know what I bought. The Revlon Illuminance Skin Tint. This was one of the things I mentioned in that video. Um, this is their broad spectrum SPF 15. It's got ginger root, vitamin C, and vitamin E. So, the Illuminance Foundation is the bomb. It's so good. I saw this on a lot of people's best of videos for 2023. I'm so glad I pulled this out again to use it for Shop My Stash a couple times because it blew me away. I absolutely love this a lot, a lot, a lot. This and the Ulta foundation, I think are my two number one favorites that are sitting in my collection right now. I like a lot of the other ones, but this is just a standout. So they came out with the skin tint. I was kind of hesitant about this one though because this foundation can work easy as a skin tint. If you just do one pump around your face, it will look like the most beautiful tinted moisturizer on your skin. So I kind of thought, you know, it has the Illuminance name on it. I kind of thought it might just be that in a squeezy tube. You know what I mean? Or still get the same effect. Um, I did get the shade 113. I'm hoping this is gonna be good-ish, but it was also said it was a skin tint, so I'm not expecting a ton of color from it. Skincare infused makeup light to buildable coverage. So yeah, it's gonna be something super light. Cool, I'm excited about this too. Okay, Neutrogena. Neutrogena has the Hydro Boost Lip Oil. 
I had never seen this before. I mean, some stuff, this, I know some of this is brand new, like this, of course, but this, for some reason, looks like it's been around. I don't know why, uh, but I had never seen it before, and I really love the Merit Lip Oil a lot, so I think this, I already know it's not going to compare. I just know it's not going to, but it looks really good. Look how cute. Oh my goodness. Goodness. Look how goodness. Look how goodness. I'm just so excited. Leave me alone. This is the shade light pink. It's got hyaluronic acid. It's part of their Hydro Boost line. Let's see. This glossy lip oil is designed to hydrate and nourish lips while bringing out their natural color. This formula provides a luxurious pink tint shade designed for beautiful, fuller looking lips. Mm. I mean, it says it's designed to bring out a natural color. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of those pH things. I think they're bunk. Anyway, uh, hopefully this isn't that thing, but I think it looks pretty cool. Let's give it a little sniff. Ooh, no scent. I was expecting that, uh, hmm. Let's put this on. I'm gonna take this gloss off. Let's put this on. Hmm. These Fenty glosses were not meant to be just wiped away. They, they hang on for dear life. Let's put this on. A lot comes out on the brush. That's okay. Mmm. Feels lovely. I mean, this is barely a light pink shade, but it just kind of like looks like I have gloss on. I don't feel like this is an oil like a lip oil it really just feels like a liquid lip balm or something not a bad thing feels really nice but not like a lip oil like I was expecting but I'm excited for it and I will continue to use it okay L'Oreal true match um, radiant serum concealer so I did mention this in that video that I was talking about that I never put up and my theory on this concealer is that it's just going to be the eye cream in a concealer in a tube with a doe foot applicator instead of a squeezy tube. Let me say that again. So they have a concealer, or they had one, they're phasing it out right now, I think. Uh, at least it's on clearance everywhere I go. It's called eye cream in a concealer or something like that. It's in a squeezy tube. I had it for the longest time. I did use it and I did like it a lot, but I think it was really good as a face concealer, not necessarily an under eye concealer. And they did phase it out, or they are now. So when I saw this coming out, my theory is that it's just that concealer in a traditional concealer format to be used on your whole face. Because the claims are exactly the same. It's the 1.5 hyaluronic acid plus caffeine. Um, they don't have anything else on the packaging, but from what I was reading online, like on the on Ulta's website, uh, this is exactly the same as that. So. Not a bad thing at all. I'm glad they, I mean, if it's right, I don't even know if I'm correct here. If they're just repackaging it, I think that's great because I think that concealer was really, really good, but it got overlooked a lot. Like, I don't remember it selling too much at all at my store. Um, I think just because the way they marketed it as like eye cream in a concealer, I don't know, like it was only supposed to be for your under eyes or something, but it was lovely. And if this is that same concealer, I'm not mad about it. <gasps> okay. This is something that made my heart skip a beat. It's the Wet n Wild Bare Focus Niacinamide Skin Tint with 5% Niacinamide. I already use 10% Niacinamide every day, so I don't know if I want to put on another item with 5% Niacinamide, you know? But there you go. It also has hyaluronic acid in it and peony extract. I got the shade Fair Beige. Um, they also say Light Warm. I don't know. That's just what it says on the bottom here. I didn't even know this existed. I didn't even know this was coming out. I just saw it and I was like, my heart was all a flutter. I was so excited about it. So I'm not a big fan of the um, photo focus foundations, but the, um, what the heck is it called? The bare focus skin tint, that one in the blue tube. Amazing. So, so amazing. I'm really excited about this. Let's open it and do a little swatch, shall we? Please don't stink. Hmm. It smells exactly like the squeezy tube bare focus stuff. Oh, it's not the same. Okay, I kind of thought it was going to be the same. <gasps> this is beautiful. This is so freaking pretty. It's not separating at all. It looks... Okay. 
I think this is gonna be like a super hit from this haul. Obviously, all I did was a swatch. I cannot wait to put this on. Mmm. This feels incredible. Incredible. Love it for swatch. Hopefully, it performs on the face. <gasps> Holy crap. This, I have high hopes for this. I'm, I'm thinking it's gonna be pretty good. Ooh, okay. So this is the Rimmel Kind and Free Tinted Multi-Stick. I am still holding out hope that I'm gonna get my hands on the tinted moisturizer from the Kind and Free line. I don't know why I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with wanting to try that. I just can't find it anywhere. I feel like it's only in the UK, but I also thought these were never gonna come to the store either, and I was real excited about it. The only thing is that there's no seal on the packaging. The lid just comes right off. And when we were stocking these, there were a couple with the lids off rolling around in there that we had to get rid of. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of weird. I feel like unless you happen to get there right when they stock it, most of them are gonna be swatched. You know how people are at the store. Ooh, you know what? This is balmier than I was expecting. I thought it was gonna, no scent. I thought it was going to be um, like a cream stick. This is really, really balmy. I don't know. It's swatching extremely patchy. But you know, swatches don't always tell everything and I'm going over and over and over. I don't know. We'll have to try it on the face, of course. Let's see if there are any claims. None. It's fine. I really wanted it. We're gonna try it. Three things left. So there's another concealer, oddly similar to the L'Oreal, another one from Rimmel. It's the Multitasker Concealer. I was really excited to see this. Again, another product I didn't even know was coming out. I didn't even know it existed. Um, I got here the shade Sand Sable. Uh, Rimmel, when is the last time Rimmel put out a concealer that was really good? I genuinely don't think I've ever tried one from them that I loved. Have I even ever tried one? I don't even know, to be honest. Um, all I remember is they had that foundation that was like the best thing ever and then they got rid of it because they're out of their mind. That's way too light for me. Oh, whoops, 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 too light. But you know what? We're gonna try it anyway. Maybe it'll be good under the eyes or something. I don't know. A little light. Conceals, brightens, covers up to 24 hour wear and hydration. All right, let's try it. It does say full coverage. So, mm, full coverage, you kind of got to get the shade that's going to work for your skin. Sometimes when a shade isn't correct, you can make it work with other things. By the time you get the rest of your makeup on, it looks fine. But something full coverage, you got to get what works for your skin tone. And I don't know if this one's going to. Maybe. We'll try it out. We'll try it out. Okay, and then the last two things are both from Revlon. These are the Illuminance gel serum blushes so again in the same line as the little skin tint uh let's see superfood complex with glycerin and i got two shades beaming coral of course i had to go for the coral and striking rose look at that one let's open these babies up gel serum texture dewy finish all day hydration i'm hoping that these go together well i never like when a line or a brand puts out a line and the products all in the same line don't work well together like this skin tint will be like a light fresh lightweight thing on your skin and then the gel blush serum will be the most intensely pigmented crazy full coverage thing then they don't work well together you know i'm hoping that's not the case here but let's do little swatches just a little bit Okay, mm, we'll see. That's Beaming Coral. Oh, no, what was it called? Did I make that up? No, Beaming Coral. No scent. Again, a little patchy blend, but of course, once you get it on your skin with your sponge or your brush, it might blend out differently. It looks pretty, like a stain. I, I mean, obviously, I don't know how that other, the tint is gonna work, but I feel like these are gonna work well together. Ooh, blend it out all the way. That looks like a really pretty stain. Let's put a little of this one on top. This one is Striking Rose. Let's just put it right here. Holy crap, this one is, this looks like food coloring gel. Really bright. Really bright berry pink. 
This one I think would probably look pretty blended out too. Like super blended out. That was a tiny bit that I put. Holy moly. Very pigmented, but I think it, I, obviously I put on a lot. I think that'll blend out really nice to like a pretty stain. Okay, I'm excited to try those out. And that's it. Those were all of the products that I bought that I found I was so excited about. There are a few other things that I saw, like there's a new brow product from Maybelline that I really wanted. I mentioned it in that video too, but once I saw it in person, I was like, probably not gonna work for me. Uh, there's a new mascara from L'Oreal that looks good. Uh, there were a couple new things that, uh, that were out too that I was like, I just couldn't bring myself to buy it because I was already buying all this stuff. But let me know if you're excited about any of this stuff. What would you like to see me try? I'm so excited about this. I want to save everything here. This might be the thing that I'm the most excited about. The Wet n Wild Skin Tint. The Niacinamide Skin Tint. I'm really excited. I'm excited about all this stuff. But that is it. Let me know some new stuff you've been seeing that's coming out in the stores that you're finding. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And I will see you later in another video. Goodbye.